Last year, I recall myself pondering over ideas on how to become more consistent, how to just become a better version of myself, how to create better habits for myself. I was given a book by an old manager, which is probably one of my favorite book titles to date. And it goes by the title Atomic Habits, which is written by author James Clear. Reading that book has pretty much reshaped the way that I view creating healthy habits and has also played a major role in helping to shape my character. Because I have to realize that creating healthy habits is not only a mindset shift, but it also shows that accountability must be taken into consideration. Because a lot of the stuff that we do, we may claim to be because of our environment or our situation or just the resort or the circumstances of where we are in life. So it pretty much takes all of that away when you start to take 100% responsibility of your own life choices despite where you may be in life. Anyway y'all, this book has taught me so much and I don't necessarily remember exactly where I got the idea in this book but I was encouraged that if I ever wanted to make and create healthy habits for my life, I create some sort of formal agreement with myself, I'd have someone hold that agreement that I made to myself and when I read it, I thought the idea was brilliant. Think about it like this, right? When you go to work at all these kinds of jobs, it's like you got all these rules and regulations that you gotta abide by. If not, you're gonna be penalized for them. And it just made me think. All these jobs and corporations have all these rules and regulations that you have to abide by. And you're subject to penalty if you don't follow them. But why we never set guidelines, rules, regulations, and standards for our own selves? And repercussions for things that we don't follow on our own behalf. I think that having rules like that keeps us under and also keeps us compliant with our goals and our expectations for our own life. I think that it takes true discipline to punish oneself for not doing the right thing. So what I did after reading this book, I decided to create my own agreement with myself called the Habit Contract. Y'all know me, man. I'm on a never-ending journey of self-improvement. So I always find myself participating in some form of challenge, something to challenge myself. And the main goal is always to create a better me for me. So I thought that adding that would be a great addition to the things and the challenges I like to do. It's a two that'll one keep me honest and two is gonna keep me motivated and the thing about this contract is that just like how its penalties involves with not following rules regulations guidelines for working for a job it's pretty much the same concept when it comes to going against the promise that you made to yourself so dependent on the agreed upon cost with you and whomever you choose to hold the contract and if I didn't state this before that's my bad there is a contract holder they are the ones who hold the contract and they're also the one the penalty is paid to if you can't abide by the rules of the contract so preferably, you will want it to be somebody close to you. You will pay them the agreed upon fee to the contract holder if you fail to follow the guidelines of the contract. For reference, I'll read y'all my contract. I'm gonna show y'all the contract first. So this is the contract. At the top you see contract, got my name, Desmond D. Miller. And I'm gonna read it to y'all what it says. It says, it says that I, Des Miller, vowed that over the next 21 days, I will complete a juice fast. Through this time, I look to improve health, longevity, and my finances. I understand that failure to complete this task could result in fines up to and not to exceed $100 by signing this document. It says that everything in writing on this contract is understood by the signee and that he will withhold his promise by providing his signature. All prospective contract holders will be accountable for ensuring the signee stands firm by this contract and will be paid in full from the signee if he doesn't hold to his agreement in this contract. If all is understood by both parties, you may sign your signatures below. And as you can see, yes, I don't know if y'all can see that, but yes. And it's just that simple. The contract holder holds the contract until the duration of the contract is done and complete. And then you walk away scot-free. If you fail, however, it results in you paying the agreed upon fee to the contract holder. So this thing is literally all about accountability. So if you fail, let them know and pay them. It's really no big deal. Let the idea of you giving money away in your head just linger for a minute and it's gonna motivate you, bro, I promise. It's gonna motivate you to stay on track. Cause who wanna give some money away? Who wanna give a hundred dollars away? Please. Because at the end of the day, it don't do nothing but make you better. I hope y'all got a good lesson out of this and hopefully you'll be able to apply it to your own life. I promise y'all, bro, this method is game changing. Anywho. I'll see y'all in the next video.